Hi, so I'm James Holden. I'm the Senior Product Manager for Cloud Insights. And I'm going to take you through today um, the use cases and the value proposition of using the tool to monitor your on-premises and your public cloud provider's infrastructure. So, Cloud Insights is our latest SaaS offering. It's monitoring all that infrastructure, pulling it in, and so you can find issues far faster in the environment, understand where they are, what's causing them, and then start to troubleshoot those issues. And we have advanced analytics that help you drill down and get to the specifics of why and what is causing issues in the environment. The other real use case of then Cloud Insights is to help understand how costs could be optimized. Where there's infrastructure that can be right-sized, there's devices that can be um, removed because they're actually wasted in the environment, just accruing costs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you a live demo of the um, real systems monitoring all of NetApp um, lab environments across the globe. So we've got in equipment in Australia, we've got equipment in Europe, um, and in the US. Now here's one of the dashboards that Cloud Insights is um, able to provide. This is looking at cloud providers, AWS and Azure, and we're seeing all the kind of performance details that you'd expect to be able to help understand where issues are starting to appear. So we've got the CPU, the IO, the latency, uh, the amount of traffic going through the system. I can look at it over time. We've actually got 90 days of performance data captured at a five minute granularity on all the different devices. Um, to set Cloud Insights up is extremely easy. It's one of our kind of uh, sweet spots of the product and the way we can collect the data. So all I need to do is um, pick what kind of infrastructure I want to get from, whether it be the on-premises infrastructure, and it's not just the NetApp, it can be any of the third-party devices as well, um, or the cloud. So here, let's jump into AWS Data Collector. All I need to do is give it a name, um, specify which region I want to collect the data from, and then specify access keys, and um, I'm often collecting that data from the infrastructure. One that, once the information is coming in, I then have an ability to uh, look across all the different dashboards in the system. And we can tailor those dashboards based on what kind of data sources are actually there. So here I've got um, ability to ask key questions that any operations person or any engineer wants to know about their environment. Where there is latency, where there's saturation points coming in, uh, where there's too much traffic, or where there's errors. So here I've got um, for my uh, NetApp equipment, um, where do I have latency on my flex falls? Uh, for my VMware environment, where can I reclaim waste out of there? So let's drop those dashboards in, and then let's look at how we can show that sort of information. So here I've got um, where do I have um, latency in my virtual machines on my VMware. I can see how many virtual machines are being monitored by the system, what the average latency is. I can see all the kind of the top poorly performing VMs. I can see that over time. And I can drill down into this information to then help start troubleshooting what's actually going on. So here I've got then far more information to really help with that kind of forensic activity. I can see when performance policies have been breached. I can see the little red dots and the little spikes. And I can see what other devices are kind of correlated and putting their demand on that infrastructure as well. So here I can then overlay them and I can look for other devices that may be causing the issue. So really getting to the root cause of why I've got latency. And here I've got two candidates, one, um, both virtual machines. And you can see where the latency starts increasing. It's because this IO on another device has started to hit it hard. So that's two of the use cases, finding the issues and then troubleshooting them. The next one I want to show is about how to save cost in that environment. Here's a nice dashboard on how to save money. And this is a really easy one, which is, um, Virtual machines that are turned off, they're still consuming capacity or it's still associated with those devices. What we can do is highlight those and then give an estimate of what the cost of those infrastructure components are. And we're breaking this down here by Amazon, by GCP, by the Azure, and for the VMware environment. So I then got a breakdown by lab um, to specify and find out more information about. And I can also then prioritize by looking at which one of those has got the highest capacity, hence the highest cost in that environment to start targeting. Okay, so in summation, Cloud Insights helps monitor your entire environment, whether it be on-premises or out in the cloud. It helps you troubleshoot issues, wherever they may be, getting to the root cause far faster, and helps save you costs across your infrastructure. Thank you very much for watching.